Etienne from Apollo Movement, Canada's e-mobility destination. Today, I'm incredibly excited to do a review on a scooter that will blow your mind. When we talk about the ideal scooter, we talk about a scooter with power. When we talk about comfort, we need suspension, unlike the boosted rev. And when we talk about the look and aesthetics, oh boy. This scooter has been nicknamed the Rolls Royce of electric scooters and the scooter version of the Batmobile. We'll let you give it your own nickname. Introducing the scooter we call the Beast, the Mercane 2019 Pro Dual Motor. With top speeds of 45 km an hour, so 27 miles per hour, and an advertised distance of 25 miles, so around 40 km. For any additional specs, here's the link. Speed and range, 27 miles per hour, which is around 45 km an hour, with a claimed distance of 40 km, realistically 30 km distance. Now, just look at the speed and power this baby has. We rode it on bike paths in Montreal, Canada, and honestly, it's one of the most beautiful accelerations I've faced to date. Merkane had a 2018 dual motor model, but the throttle was terribly jerky, and this is a big upgrade they added for the 2019 model. Good job, Merkane. Talk and acceleration. One of the biggest selling points of the wide wheel is the addicting acceleration. Here you can see how it compares to one of the most popular scooters on the market, the Xiaomi M365. If you've seen an electric scooter on the street before, there's a great chance it was a Xiaomi. As you can see, the 0 to 25 km an hour is about three times faster on a Mercane. Not to mention, it feels like takeoff in a spaceship. The second important feature worth highlighting is its ability to climb hills. After all, you're not just getting the dual motor for its acceleration. Once again, let's see how it compares to the Xiaomi. Amazingly, you can actually start the Mercane wide wheel on an incline and you'll feel an acceleration as if you were on a flat surface. This isn't exactly the case with the Xiaomi, which slowly struggled uphill until it required some assistance from the rider to make it up to the top. Aesthetics. Let's have an overall look at the scooter. Starting with the handlebar, very minimalistic. LED panel display to show you the battery level with these four battery dots each representing 25%. But this can better be seen on the voltage meter display. Max is 55, lowest is around 45. The Mercane is equipped with two modes, Eco and Power, but there's a method to unleash ludicrous mode and to remove the safety kick and go function, which you can watch on our YouTube channel here. The rest of the body is incredibly sleek. The tires are airless and made out of condensed foam and rubber. The battery case is surprisingly thin for the amount of rain it's able to deliver. Lastly, we've got two lights, one in the front, one in the rear. It's important to note that these are not meant to illuminate the road for the rider. Instead, they are meant for the rider to be seen. In our view, it's worth investing in some additional lighting to be seen on the roads. Comfort and build quality. Starting with the folding features of the scooter, the folding mechanism isn't quite as simple as that of the Xiaomi but for good reason. You need something steady and firm to hold you when you're riding at 45 km an hour. That said, once folded, the white wheel can easily fit into the trunk of a city car. The second critical feature is the suspension. With spring in the front and rear, you're looking at an excellent shock absorption. Because of the airless tires, you will feel every bump in the road, but the suspension will quickly absorb it before it becomes a risk of falling. Lastly, maintenance. Merkin created a modular structure that was designed for easy maintenance. We've managed to fix all issues our customer have faced, and even without an engineering background, it wasn't really rocket science compared to other scooters we've had to repair, just like the Xiaomi Tire, for example, which I'm sure you scooter enthusiasts know about. Overall impressions of the Merkin wide wheel dual motor, speed like no others. The torque is ridiculous much more power than the 09 and any other scooters in that price range. We love the build and the look, the fat tires really make the scooter look sexy and just a very comfortable ride overall. This isn't an amateur scooter however, so always wear a helmet and be cautious when riding. On a negative side, and this is our personal opinion, the wide wheels make the scooter have a larger turning angle, so this does take a little getting used to. 
and the handlebar is a little bit wobbly, but we do have the spare parts that can easily fix this problem. But hey, the power compensates for this, and overall they've done fantastically. It definitely is worth the $13.99 price tag. For any additional specs, here's the link. Thanks for watching our review video. We're at Polo Movements and have exclusive distribution of these bad boys here in Canada. They're available on our website www.apolomovement.com and we're always here to answer any questions or answer your comments. If you have any other products that you'd like to see reviews, specific videos on or anything else, do let us know below in the comments. Thank you and have a lovely day.